Borgo MRB Bushing Retrofit Package A bushing replacement procedure for MRB3 assemblies MRB3s built prior to the 2014 model year have been identified to experience possible premature wear with the pivot bushings in the parallel arms when used in challenging conditions. Wear of these bushings will allow excessive lateral movement of the MRB leading to functional problems as the working angle degrades. Plugging of the scraper, premature scraper wear and penetration problems may also result. If left too long, the pivot arms may become worn and damaged beyond repair. Borgo offers a retrofit kit which changes out the bushings and pins for units that exhibit excessive wear. This video will provide step-by-step -step instructions for installation of the kit. To determine if you need to change the bushings, you will need to inspect the amount of side-to-side -side deflection present on the MRB arms. Before measuring the deflection, check that the eight plastic shims are still in place on all four pins. Loss of these shims may result in excessive deflection of the MRB arm, even without wear of the bushings. Run a measuring tape from the top of the neighboring coulter, holding it over the coulter you wish to check. Make sure the tape is directly over the center of the coulter hubs. Maximum allowable deflection is between 3 8 and 7 16 of an inch. If total deflection exceeds this amount, then it is recommended to perform the update. Contact your local Borgo dealer to order the components needed. The dealership will refer to Technical Service Bulletin 15, 2014. You will require four bushings, part number 2131-41, four pins, 6726-02, four nuts, 1207-07, and four hardened washers, part number 1325-39, for each MRB3 conversion. It is important to consider that Borgo will be offering a pivot arm bearing kit for the MRB3s and will be available for purchase by June 2014. This will allow you to change out the old pins to a greasable pin with bearings and seals. If possible, you may wish to defer updating your MRBs until the new pivot arm bearing kits are available. The following are suggested shop tools for the installation of the MRB3 bushing upgrade kit. A heavy duty cordless impact drill. Impact sockets with extension. A non-marring hammer. Penetrating oil. A pneumatic inline drill. A reciprocating saw. A grinding flap wheel, one inch diameter. Dust mask and safety glasses. Before starting the work, position the drill in a clean and safe work area. Ensure that the drill is properly secured and blocked to prevent any movement or sudden loss of hydraulic pressure. Once your drill is in place, lower all the openers and MRBs to the ground. Release oil pressure with the tractor remote, not the control box. It is best to spray a generous amount of penetrating oil on each of the pins one day prior to performing the update. Remove the bottom pin of the hydraulic cylinder and flip it up and out of the way. Secure the cylinder so it does not fall during the retrofit. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will be removing the cylinder. Release tension on the closer tine, then use the 916 socket to remove the two bolts holding the closer tine mount. Using a 1 and 1 8 socket, remove the single nut holding the coulter spindle to the main casting. Keep the nut with the spindle to protect the threads. Using the 1 and 1 8 socket and impact drill, remove the nuts holding the parallel pivot arm pins. You can now remove the pins to free the casting and the two parallel arm links. Using a marker or paint stick, mark on the upright if it is a left or right MRB that is being removed.
This will be critical when reinstalling the MRBs. Secure the first parallel link arm to a workbench and clean the pivot pin holes on the clevis end. Turn the arm around and secure to the workbench to remove the bushing. Cut a slot into the old bushing, taking care not to damage the arm. Clean out the hole to prepare for the new bushing. Secure the second parallel link arm and clean the pivot pin holes on the clevis end. Now turn the arm around and secure to the workbench to remove the bushing. Cut a slot into the bushing, taking care again not to damage the arm. Clean out the hole and prepare it for the new bushing. Secure the cast MRB body to the workbench to cut out both bushings with the reciprocating saw. Take care not to cut into the casting. Remove and discard the old bushings. Clean out the holes to prepare for the new bushings. Place the arms on a secure workbench for installation of the bushings. Before inserting the bushing, apply lubricant in the hole and on the bushing. Use an appropriately sized insertion guide or one of the pivot arm pins as a guide to press the bushing into place. Clean the pivot pin holes on the MRB upright with the 1 inch grinding flapper wheel. Place the lower parallel arm on the MRB upright and secure with a pivot pin. Insert the plastic shims on the pin on each side of the lower arm. Place the upper parallel arm on the MRB upright and secure with a pivot pin. You can now insert the plastic shims on the pin on each side of the upper arm. Mount the cast MRB body onto the arms with the pivot pins. Check that the correct body is being mounted on the upright. Insert the plastic clips on the pins between the arms and the MRB body. Secure the pivot pins with 3 quarter inch nuts and harden washers. Torque the nuts to 70 foot pounds. Mount the Coulter assembly back onto the MRB body. There are two flat edges on the spindle that match up with the seat on the cast body. Secure the spindle with a nut and washer, torqued to 150 foot-pounds. Reattach the closer tine assembly with the two carriage bolts and 3 eighths lock nuts. Adjust the position of the inside floating scraper so that the corner of the scraper is 3 8 from the edge of the coulter. Refer to your operator's manual for detailed instructions. Set the tension on the inside floating scraper. Again refer to the operator's manual for detailed instructions on how it should be set. Set the correct tension on the outside closer tine. Again, this is covered in the operator's manual. Flip the hydraulic cylinder back down and pin into place. In conclusion, raise and lower the MRBs after installation several times and check for any problems. After the first five hours of operation, stop to perform a close inspection checking the torques on the new fittings. Follow the guidelines for maintenance and service provided on the maintenance decal and in the operator's manual. Follow all safety precautions during maintenance and operation. 
For more information on this and other Borgo products, please visit our website at www.borgo.com. Thank you.